smallpox all over their body. They found out later that it wasn't smallpox at all, that it was um, tumors all over their skin. Like they had been irradiated by radioactivity. At one point, the Ark is stolen by... The Ark is attempted to be used for war and is taken by the Philistine before it's moved to the Essene, long before. And the same thing happens. They bring it to their temple and they try to use it and all this and they all get tumors. It's in the Bible. And so they send it back to the to the temple of Solomon. They're like, get that thing out of here. So, Emmanuel was most likely born in the field of the Ark of the Covenant. And as a result, he had very advanced DNA structure. In fact, Emmanuel might have got revived by using the Ark of the Covenant and resuscitating him, generating the whole, you know, um, um, return of, of Emmanuel, return of Jesus three days later. Well, when the... I was asked to talk about the Knights Templar. So you guys are seeing this view a little bit more. I'm going to tell you now how it reaches you, how far this goes, and how much the power at B is actually trying to get this power back. First of all, the key to the Bible is to understand that the Old Testament is talking about advanced technology, very, very advanced technology. The crystal, the power of the sun gods, the power of Atlantis, which was brought out of Ta Atlantis, brought to Egypt, and eventually brought to the Temple of Solomon by Moses. And the other side of the Bible, the New Testament, is talking about the living ark, the purity of heart, the purity of intent you have to have to be with the ark. And it's actually when the two are put together that we have the new level of civilization. When the technology, the external technology matches our internal knowledge and the internal knowledge match the external technology. It is not all internal, like spiritual, you know, commonly think of. And it is not completely external, like most physicists think of. But it is both internal and external. That's the feedback. So when the, uh, when the, uh, much later, uh, it seems like there was, a Jewish contingency in France that believed that they were the direct descendant, descendant of Emmanuel, the Cathars. And the Cathars, I think, was it the Cathars? Yeah, I believe so. Um, they were looking for the Ark of the Covenant. This is a large Jewish community in the middle of France that nobody knows how they got there. There's a lot of books now being published saying that actually Emmanuel, after his crucifixion and its revival, went through India and into Europe and resettled in France. And that Cathars were truly the bloodline of Emmanuel. In any case, true or false, 
They believed they were. And they were looking for the ark. They might have had very ancient documents that were brought there by the groups that settled the Jewish community there. They started an order of knights to look for the ark. That order was called the Knights Templar. The first name they were given was the Knights of the Poor because they were very poor and their insignia was two knights on one horse because they couldn't afford a horse for every knight. They were commissioned by a priest, a Qatar priest, to look for the Ark. Well, after years of research and so on, they came to conclude that the Ark had to be in Jerusalem somewhere, under the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. They, they conjured the armies of France, okay? They convinced them to go and take Jerusalem, and as a result, started the Crusades. This is history. The Crusades were described in the tales of the search for the Holy Grail. They couldn't talk about the Ark directly because of Inquisition. So they called it the Holy Grail. And in the first edition of that story, they call it a crystal stone. Later on, describing it as a cup which had two vortices on each side. And so they went across all the countries they needed to go across to go to Jerusalem. They fought their way through all the way generating huge amount of uh, difficulties and eventually got to Jerusalem and took over the ancient city of Jerusalem. This is historic. They were there and they occupied Jerusalem for many years. For seven of those years, the Knights Templar themselves settled right beside the Temple Mount in Jerusalem and dug and dug and dug tunnels that are still there today. But because this is Islamic ground today, the temple, it, the mount, the mount, it's the rock of foundation, is right under the dome of the rock in Jerusalem, which is Islamic, is under Islamic control. The Islamic population goes there on pilgrimage, turn around, the rock where the ark used to be placed inside the Temple of Solomon. They're, they're venerating the exact same thing as the uh, Jewish tradition. And they're all fighting. Amazing. In any case, those tunnels are still there under the ark, under the Temple Mount. They're not accessible. You can't go there. They are blocked and they're heavily guarded. In any case, the Knights Templar dug for seven years and found zilch. Uh, 